guys. Hey. We are making chicken wings today. <laughs> and Amanda's excited. I'm super excited. <laughs> I've never been so excited in my life. And? We've got a great recipe. Yeah. It's called KFC for Korean fried chicken wings. It's by a ravenous couple, mm -hmm. who is an, an adorable couple, who has their own blog. And um, they came up with this recipe because it was inspired by the chains like Banchan, um, these Korean fried chicken chains. And they have um, a couple of really interesting techniques, one mm -hmm. of which is to double fry the, the wings to render out the fat and also to get a crisper skin. It's a little bit like um, french fries. Yeah. Yeah. How can you go wrong? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to cut up some chicken wings. So what you basically want to do is just cut the tip off, which you can use. I like to use shears for that, kitchen shears. And these are OXO. They're really strong. You just want to make sure you use a strong <laughs> pair, as I demonstrate not very gracefully. And then you probably want to use a knife to separate the, them at the other joint. You want to sort of find it first. Okay. And then you just cut down. And you've got this, which is sort of the drumette, and this is the wing part. I'm going to first peel some ginger, um, which if you've never done before, it's best done with a, sp a teaspoon, and you just pull it across the, s the surface of the ginger, and it just takes the, the thin layer of skin right off. It works better than anything else. And you have to be pretty aggressive with it. You can't be afraid, right? I find it took me a while to get the hang of it because I was being a little timid, but the more sort of sure you of yourself you are, the better it works. You to show the ginger who's boss. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, it smells so good. Mm-hmm, it does. I'm getting kind of spritzed with ginger juice. <laughs> A spa treatment. <laughs> it's a chicken recipe and spa treatment in one. <laughs> I like that. It's a twofer. <laughs> you just keep talking. <laughs> I haven't. Yeah. I'm here all week. All right. So now that my ginger is peeled, oops. See, I'm cutting off that irksome little knob. I'm going to um, now thinly slice it. And you don't have to be precise. You're just using this to infuse into the dipping sauce. Actually, it's not a dipping sauce. It's actually a, um, a glaze. A glaze. And this is going to go into the sauce with some light brown sugar <laughs> and some water <laughs> and some rice vinegar and some soy sauce. And then we're going to put this on the stove to get it simmering, actually boiling. We're going to dredge them lightly in this flour mixture. Which has Wondra in it, right? It does have Wondra in it, yes. And in case you've never used Wondra before, it is wonderful. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's a... Wonderful. It, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's just much finer than regular flour, and it actually has um, barley flour in it, which we discovered yesterday. I didn't know that. Yes. That's so cool. And it's really good for crisping things up. So as you can see, it's much finer looking than a regular flour. It almost looks like super fine cornmeal or something. Yeah. So now we're ready for the first fry. Mm -hmm. So the glaze is coming to a boil, and that, that means it's time to add chili sauce. Ravenous Couple um, gives you the option of adding one to two tablespoons. And yesterday we did just one tablespoon, and we decided that we wanted more heat. So today we're adding two tablespoons. And also to kind of balance the heat and acid of the vinegar, there's some honey that goes in. And then what you do is you just let this boil down until it's like a nice syrupy glaze, and you're done. And we're almost ready here. The oil is using peanut oil, and it is almost at 350, which is where we want it to be. You can see the oil starting to shimmer a little bit. So it's good when you're frying to always have like everything set up in advance. So over here we have a baking sheet, a little baking rack, so that once you start frying, there's no need to like look anywhere else. Keep very focused. Get your game face on. Get your frying face on. <laughs> so you want to do this in batches. You don't. You never want to crowd the pan. So I'm just going to gently lower these in. Ooh, yummy. Mm -hmm. okay, they're just lightly golden, and we're going to put them back in for their second fry when they'll get more deeply golden. We're going to let them cool first. So I'm just putting these guys back in for their second fry, and they go back in for about another five minutes until they're really crispy and brown. There it is. There's the glaze. It's all glazy. Look at that, it's glazing the ginger so we know it's ready. Actually, that's a great way to tell if it's done, is if it's glazing the ginger, it's formally a glaze. They are looking good. They are looking really beautiful. Nice and crispy. So I'm gonna take them out. 
through the second batch quickly and then we'll glaze away. So the, the wings have been fried twice and now I'm brushing some glaze on them. Ooh, very nice. What, Sorry. crackling? You hear how crispy they are when you flip them over. Yes, the they are. They're super crispy. Mm -hmm. They also like have a very like tight texture, which I think is when Ravenous Couple was talking about how they render their fat in the first frying, yes. you know? Mm -hmm. I think that is what happens, and it's sort of like the you're left with this, like, you know, the pure chicken meat and, skin, and crisp skin. It's like a fat shell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. we've got some toasted sesame seeds, which are optional, but we think fabulous. So I'm yes. just going to sprinkle them over. I mean, not only do they look pretty, but they just add a nice little crunchy nutty. You go for it. Mm. Oh, it is better. I like it spicier. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. They're perfect. And you hear that crunch? Mm -hmm. And then the meat is just perfectly tender. It is. It's like a, it's like a shell. Mm -hmm. The glaze is just spicy, sweet, a little bit tangy. Totally. Excellent recipe. Thank you so much, Ravenous Couple. And we look forward to more of your recipes on Food 52. Thanks.